Hey, it's Pubmeister, and today we are going to be looking at a super simple raid farm that works in the latest version. And you can even do this at the very beginning of your world because it is that simple and it uses almost no resources. So let's get going. And the beautiful thing about raid farms now because in order to activate the raid farm, you have to drink the ominous potion. So you really no longer have to be anywhere near a pillager outpost. I mean, you might want to, I suppose, if you have no trial chambers anywhere nearby and you, and you need to get ominous potions, you're going to have to get the guy with the flag, the leader. Uh, to drop an ominous potion for you. But you can get ominous potions from trial chambers now. So you really don't even need to be near one of these pillager outposts. All right, so let's head over to the area we're going to make our raid farm in. Remember, it has to be 150 blocks minimum from the closest village because you do not want the raid happening <laughs> at the village instead of your farm. All right, so this is about where we are going to make our raid farm. Whether it's going to be down here, probably down here actually, to be honest, because you want a fairly flat area to do this in. So I'm going to flatten out a lot of these areas. I'm going to make sure that there are no little caves or something that they could get trapped in. And when I have all that done, I'll be back. So this is the area I'm going to build it in. See now this is something that they could fall into and get trapped. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about as far as blocking up and making sure that there's nothing they can get trapped in. Anything like this, you know, that's one block deep, that's not a big deal. They can get over that, no problem. Okay, well, this is basically what it looks like now that I am done. Like I said, doesn't matter if there's like little things like that, they can get over that. Um, the reason I filled in a lot of this is because I wanted the back of the farm to be closer to the water because they're not really going to be spawning on the water. So I thought if I put the back of it over here, there will be more room for them to come from all the other directions. Okay, so I'm going to be making it right around here. So let's take a look at what we're going to need for this build. Two chests. I think it's about 27 ladders you're going to need, but it never hurts to have a few extra. Five signs. One workstation. It can be anything. Uh, two buckets of water. One bucket of lava. One bed. One hopper six uh, blocks of some sort, one trap door, and one slab. And then as a bonus um, for down below, so you can see what's going on, you might want a bell. But the bell is not absolutely necessary. It's just handy to have. So the very first thing that you want to do is dig a nine by nine hole. 1D. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, isn't that handy? So there's our 9, and now we have to go 9 this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I think. <laughs> And now we have our one by, well, nine by nine by one. And you actually want to go one deeper. So you want it two blocks down. And there we go. So we have a nine by nine that is two blocks down. 
And then you can just make a step up. This is temporary, but just to get you out. And then on the back of the farm, wherever you choose that to be, you can put three blocks in the middle. Okay, so notice how there's three empty, three empty. You want to put three blocks right in the middle at the back of the farm, wherever you want that back to be. And then I like to put three more blocks right there. You don't have to, to be honest. You could just use the three blocks. Um, now we want to put the signs down. So you want to put one here, one there, and one there. So it looks like a face. Then you want to crouch and put one on top of this one. Just like that. And then for the last one, you want to come up here and just place it right on top of the one underneath. Okay, so it looks like that. And then, of course, your lava is going to go right in here. But we're not going to do that quite yet because we want to dig underneath here. And you don't really want lava sitting right over your head. We're going to dig 26 blocks down right here. We're right over the lava or right under the lava where it will be. Now, one thing I want to point out is that the room we're going to build will be behind the farm over here, okay? So one easy way, because as you dig down, sometimes you can lose which direction you're facing. So make sure you're facing the way you want. And in this case, I'm facing west. So that is the direction we want to build our room in when we get down there, okay? So again, 26 blocks down, one, two, three, four, five, six, and 26, okay? So if you, you know, if you've turned around and you're like, oh, which, you know, which way is what? That's why you look. See, right now I'm facing south, so west. So this is the direction we want to go. So at this point, we want to dig a couple in, just like this. And then we just want to build a little room for ourselves. Doesn't have to be very big, but you can make it really as big as you like. Place some light down here so nothing spawns. All right. So in this case, I made it five by four. And in the back here is where you're going to be making your ladder going up. Okay, now you want to dig one more down, just like that. Place your slab in the bottom. Step here. And then go two more down. Okay, so it should look like this. We can dig that further down. At this point, we can take the block underneath the slab out and we can place our chests down just like this and then we want to get our hopper and we can break that just for a moment and we're going to want to crouch and then jump in order to put this hopper in so you can test it look where your little x is and jump Okay, because you don't want to place it on top of the chest by mistake. So jump and place it just like that. And then come over here and just make sure that it is indeed pointing into the chest. Okay. Then you want to grab your slab again. You can place that right back right there. Then you can place two right over. And this is where we are going to take out the mobs from the raid that fall down. Now, you do not want to stand here because there are vexes 
satellites and stuff like that that can see you from here. And if they launch some of those <laughs> guys at you while you're down here, that would not be a very good experience, let me tell you. So um, the chest will keep you from being in the wrong spot over on this side. And if you just put something like that here, then you won't by mistake go into an area that will be dangerous. Now, one other thing you might want to do, and I think I'm going to do that as well, is I'm going to put glass for these two blocks. And then you can see them fall and you can see them standing there just for visual sake. I mean, you don't need it, but it's nice. So now let us continue and make our staircase out of here. Always good to bring a few extra ladders because you never know how long it's going to take. And then if you want some light in here, you can always break something on the side, place a torch in here. And there we go. And we're out. And then, of course, you want to take your trap door. Oh, you evil, evil creeper. And this is why everyone hates creepers. No biggie. We have lots of soil to fill this in with. But annoying, nonetheless. As I was about to say, <laughs> you want to put a trapdoor on top, just like that. So now that we are this far, we need to grab a villager. And of course, I'll be grabbing my villager from my village. One of the best ways to get a villager to follow you is using a workstation. And just kind of keep on moving the workstation and they should keep following you. And you just gotta kind of try to be quick. <laughs> so they don't wander off. However, once you're in an area, you should be able to put a boat down and they will just walk right into the boat, just like that. And then you can row them the rest of the way. So you want to come down and you basically want to place it in the middle and you want a three by three spot like this. Okay, so you should have three blocks on each side of this and then you want to go four deep. Okay, just like that, three by three and four deep. Now you want to place the bed and you want to place a workstation, just like this. And then you want to get out. <laughs> so, you'll need to break this so that you can get rid of all of those. And then you can place that back. Okay, so now we just have to break the boat and he will go for the workstation. There he goes, just like that. Now, the one other thing you want to do is place a torch down there so nothing spawns. And then if you want to see him under the water and everything, you could put glass here and then you could uh, continue to see our little guy in here but basically now you can just cover it up just like that okay so now 
that this guy's down here, we can place our lava right in there. And with our two water buckets, you want to make an infinite source of water. So one over here, one over there, and now you have an infinite source of water in the middle. And you can use your lava bucket now, so you can have three buckets of water on the go. Now, I could, of course, just fill up my water here, but just in case you don't have any water nearby, this is what you want to do. So you want to mimic the wall on the other side with water. So one, two, three. Okay, so you want three source water blocks exactly opposite the wall. And then let's fill up our water again. And then in the corner, you want one in the corner one right next to it, and then you want to skip to one, two, and put the third one, just like that. And then you want to do the exact same thing on the other side. So corner, one right next to it, and then skip to one, two, and place your third. And as you can tell, that perfectly surrounds your little hole and everything will be moving towards the drop zone. Then you can fill your hole there. And now your farm is ready. It's that simple. You don't even need trap doors all the way around to fool them or whatever. They'll just drop down and try to get to the village, which is in the center. I'm going to grab one more bucket of water before I fill this in. So now we can go back down, close the trap door above us. I've decided to put some glass in here so that I can see them come down. Now this farm is specifically made for a looting three sword because now with a looting three, you can get a lot more loot or treasure from the drops. And remember, stay away from the corners because the vexes, if they see you, will send those little angel, well, demon guys, <laughs> whatever they are, after you and you certainly don't want that. Now the last thing we want to install, and of course, again, this is a just for the sake of it, um, is a bell. And when you ring that, you'll be able to see them up there. But I'll show you when that happens. So now we want to, like I said, we're going to start with a regular bad omen. Bring her down. Okay. And then you can see here, a raid omen has started. And it will give you a 25 second countdown before the raid begins. And if you want to see them coming, <laughs> like the start of the raid, you can come up here and see where they're coming from. Now the raid is started, you can see. And there we are, it's full, there they come. You can see them all coming from back there. Slowly coming closer and closer. So basically, we want to go down now. Make sure that's closed. And then if you ring the bell... Oh, you need space to ring the bell. They're already dropping. I hear them dropping. There they are. So you can just take them out. Just like that, it'll give you XP, which is great. And it'll give you treasure. Look at that, three emeralds already. Sweet. Okay, so if you want, 
Where should we place it? Let's put it right there. There they are. See, now you can see them. They're up there. They're going to be dropping any time now. Bow. There's the first guys. Bow. 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 And there you go. So now, once the raid is over, you will get Hero of the Village. So when you go back to the village, all of your villagers will throw you free gifts, which is great. But we're not going to do that. We are going to try the Bad Omen 5. And again, you've got, a, in this case, a 28-second countdown, I think it was. But let's take a look at what we had for the whole thing. Of course, you're going to get some zombies and other things falling in there uh, if it's nighttime up there. Uh, we got one Totem of Undying, which is great. 14 Emeralds in total from the first uh, raid. Two Saddles. I mean, you do get a bunch of great stuff from these raids. And that was just the Bad Omen level one. So let's take a look at what the Bad Omen level 5 is going to give us. Because it's about to begin. And if you have one remaining raider... And you can't find them, that means you missed something that they could fall into. And I, indeed, missed this one. Ah. There he is down there. Ow. So I'm going to take him out. Ah. And then I am going to cover this up so they cannot fall in here anymore. And then, I guess I'd better hurry up <laughs> and get back to my farm before I get hit with all those guys. So back down I go, close the trap door. And there we have the raid victory for an Omen 5. So let's see what we've all gotten now. So with two raids, a regular Omen and an Omen 5, we ended up with six saddles, three totems of undying. We've got some glowstone dust, potion of healing, 10 glass bottles, 55 redstone, 39 emeralds. So, I mean, you get a decent stash of stuff. Now, for things that you don't want, you can also create a little garbage. And you don't need lava or whatever. Just make a hole, maybe even three deep. There you go. And then grab whatever you don't need, like spider eyes and all these crossbows. And then you can just throw them out. Just like that. And they'll be down the hole. And when you leave, they'll go away. I certainly hope... You use this farm because it's so simple to set up. Again, it can be something you do the beginning of your world because there's nothing too complicated or uh, crazy as far as supplies to build it. And it uses very few resources and yet it can pay off big time as you've seen by all of the treasure. So thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a great day, and we'll see you next time.
And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye for now.